So the starters orders finals next then and it's the hurdle first of all and it's over two and a half miles and it's a naught to 160 and at the top it's Adonis for Paul Rhodes Beauty Queen Martin Needham Daydream Believer Graham Clutterbuck Jay's Doll Stall for James Shea Blurred Daub Stu Gray Ribera Alta Darren Thompson Duty Magdalena and Ennery Crime for James Shea Avon Exotic Swiss Gris and Lukakis all for Stu Gray and a signatory Oki for Thomas Rogers so 12 runners in this then and one or two trainers mob handed Stu Gray and James Shea on half the field between them but you can have as many as you like in this I think if you've qualified they're away and racing and it's a good job that those two have put three in each because they were a very small field otherwise. They make their way down towards the first end. This could get quite interesting with the colour clashes as well, couldn't it? So it would be great if there would be some way that we could get this race kit as they get to the first of the 12. And all over that one nicely so that you could actually have different coloured caps on the same stable companions. And it would make the commentator's job a lot easier. But, uh, they get to the second. And over that one they go. I suppose people will argue we've got that thing at the top left hand corner but trust me you can't keep looking up at that or you don't know what's going on and they get over number three and Jay's Doll Stall is in the lead by about six lengths to Adonis in second and the only grey in the field signatory Oki is next and then Duty Magdalena and Ennery Crime as you can imagine there's a lot of green and black in the colours especially considering that they get over the fourth not only has James Shea got three in, but also we've got another two in there with green colours. The Paul Rhodes horse and the Thomas Rogers one. So, a lot of green as we race down towards the next. Not quite 40 shades, but nearly. Jay's Dollar Stall's in the lead. Adonis is back in second, and then Signatory Oki is third. Then comes Duty Magdalena and Ennery Crime. Bear at Alter on that one's outside as they take the fifth. And they're all safely over the fifth with Avon Exotic, just the current back marker. I think Stu Gray's got four in actually. Just notice that as they get over number six, and they're all over that one. Safely and racing up past the stand in there. And Jay's Doll stalled in the lead from Signatory Oak in second, Adonis is in third, and Swiss Gris coming around the outside. I think that one's been running. Onto chases for quite a lot of the season. Then comes Ribera also the carcass after that one. Henry Crime, Duty Magdalena, Blur Dorm, Beauty Queen, Daydream Believer, and finally Avon Exotic. So Jay's Doll Stall then. Remains four clear of Signatory Oki. And then Adonis. The Henry Crime and Duty Magdalena next. And the carcass is now the leader of the Stu Gray contingent. Then Ribera Alta and Avon Exotic and Swiss Gris. And finally Daydream Believer. Beauty Queen just in front of that one. And they're into the final mile now. And Jay's Doll Stall is clear. As they get over the seventh. And they're all over the seventh without mishap. Jay's Doll Stall clear in front. Henry Crime has now moved up into second. Look at these Stu Gray horses all coming through together. It's fascinating to see this. They're over the eighth, and it's Jay's Doll stalled in front. And Duty Magdalena second, Signatory Oak, and they get over the ninth. There's just three more flights to take then there. And it's Duty Magdalena and Jay's Doll stalled. So two for James Shea in the lead. It could be a one, two, three for him at the moment, but the one who's, man who's got different ideas to that is Stu Gray and his four. Luke Carcass is heading them, moving moving into third here comes Henry Crime Signatory Oki's trying to stick on Adonis Ribera Alta still there as well they're over the third last and it's Jay's Doll Stall from Lukakis Henry Crime Duty Magdalena Adonis is trying to come through so too his bride is um, Ribera Alta but that one's got a lot of ground to, to make up the two that are switching around the outside of Beauty Queen and Daydream Believer they've got two to jump and it's Adonis who's come through to take it up they're now Adonis trying to ruin the James Shea Stu Gray monopoly on the race and it's Adonis who's in front Adonis who comes down towards the second last end with a lead of a length he gets over it but a better jump by Jay's Dolstall on the inside Jay's Dolstall regains the lead here comes Luke Carcass 
also trying to come through his repair on to Zingtri Oki still there over the final flight they go it's Jay's Doll Stool from Adonis and Lukakis Duty Mandalena is trying to run on they've got half a furlong to go and Jay's Doll Stool looks like he's going to make it a pillar to post win it's Jay's Doll Stool he's going to take it he's going to be close for second Ribera also Lukakis Duty Magdalena then Adonis and Swiss Gris and all the way back to Beauty Queen who didn't fire at all today and James Shea has picked up a lot of winners this season from down the bottom end of the spectrum but this is a 0-160 although you wouldn't know it from the trainers that were in it really I don't know where all the big boys were but it's a win for Jay's Doll Stool or oh, James Shea, Ribera, Altava, Darren Thompson was second, Lekarkis, Stu Gray third, Duty Magdalena, James Shea again was fourth and Adonis for Paul Rhodes was fifth.